Okay, guys, we're going to poke the rattlesnake here on uh, Friday night, October 8, 2021. You heard it right here on the, right here from Yahoo News itself. Uh, about halfway through the, uh, the Rolodex of stories, we're going to poke a rattlesnake. New York Times retracts massive exaggeration of children hospitalized by COVID-19. And I'm trying to keep my mouth I'm, I'm This is verbatim from the mainstream media news. In an article published by New York Times reporter Apoorva Mandeville on Wednesday, Times readers were told that, quote, nearly 900,000 children have been hospitalized with COVID-19 since the pandemic began, close quote. <clears throat> a correction, otherwise known as, uh, known as a retraction, a correction issued on Thursday notes that the correct number is 63,000. Uh, this is between August 2020 and uh, until today, which means Mandeville exaggerated the number of child hospitalizations by 837,000 cases. So assuming you are going to be okay with 63,000, uh, and, and you notice how they're separating the name of the reporter from the newspaper. If, if, if it's printed in the New York Times, it is the New York Times. The, the buck stops with the publisher, the editor and the publisher of New York Times. So see what they're trying to do is they're trying like they did with Chris Hedges they're trying to say the, oh it was it was our reporter but anyway i said i was just i wasn't going to do my own rant which means mandeville not the new york times exaggerated the number of child hospitalizations by 837,000 cases approximately 500 approximately 500 american children ha have died from the disease the exaggeration was included in a report on the debate surrounding whether and how to vaccinate children. And then they just do all of this hatchet job on this reporter, kind of like they did on Chris Hedges, uh, blah, blah, blah. So after they stop doing a hatchet job uh, on this. Now, now they did, de uh, she does deserve to have the hatchet. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they do need to be doing a hatchet job uh, on the bitch. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's the New York Times. It's not, uh, you know, trying to put this off on her. The correction from the New York Times is notable as the nature of the threat that coronavirus poses to children figures heavily in the continued and often partisan debates over vaccine and mask mandates in schools. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. So, of course, guys, you know me. Uh, I have to do, which I assure you, even after the amplification and correction and retraction, the New York Times did not take the 30 seconds, and neither did and neither did this. We are going to go over to my handy dandy, my handy dandy percentage calculator. Okay, <clears throat> 63,000. So this is people under the age of 12, 63,000 uh, have been, have gone to the hospital. And so there are 40, according to the U.S. Census, there are 48 million uh, children under the age of 12 living in the United States. 63,000 is what percent of 480,000? 0.13. So 99.87% of children under the age of 12 have not been 
hospitalized, and, and even that, we need a definition of what that means. Did they spend 10 minutes or a week? And of course, okay, according to this story, approximately 500 people under the age of 12, and you know, we just did, I just showed you a picture of one a few days ago, that 10-year-old girl with the three chins. Uh, w with no other information, uh, how fat they were, whether they had diabetes, whether they had other, just 500 total kids is what percent of 48 million, if your answer was pretty close, and uh, Rob pretty much nailed it, if your answer was 0. Zero, zero, one. Zero point zero zero one, which is another way of saying that ninety nine point nine 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 percent of children in the United States have not died of Corona panic. This is, you, there's the information, do with that information what you want to, do you think that we should vaccinate 48 million, uh, 48 million uh, kids under the age of 12 because 0.001% have died and what did I just say? Uh, 63,000. And that 99.87% of children have not gone to a hospital and 99.999% have not died of this. Should we be vaccinating 48 million children and forcing them to wear masks all day long in school or not? I'm, I'm opening in to the debate. Uh, yes or no? Is this the highest and best use of our children's lives? But I'm going to stop now. We have poked the rattlesnake. Uh, well, my battery. Okay, we're just going to put... Let's see if we can just real quick. How many children died of bee stings in, let's say, 2020. Okay, let's just see real quick. Uh, quick stats. During 2000, all right, an annual average of 62. 62 people. I don't know if that's kids. I put in kids. Uh, uh oh, guys, bee sting deaths jump in U.S. over six year period, CDC says. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeppers, yeppers, yeppers. What was that one? Uh, well, I better shut up now. <laughs>